What era would you expect this strange-looking face mask to be from? Made largely of leather and chainmail. You'd certainly be forgiven for thinking that it's from the Middle Ages. But in fact, this is a product of 20th century warfare. Desperate to break the deadlock and the horrors of World War I, the British were the first to develop the tank. Although these weapons would go on to change the face of warfare, their initial designs were slow, prone to breakdown, and with comparatively thin armour. The consequence of this was an effect known as spooling, where pieces of metal would fly off inside the tank as a result of rounds hitting the outside. Therefore, medieval-looking splatter masks were developed for use by tank crews. Although not perfect, they were a clever early response to a newly emerged problem, and when combined with a helmet, did provide some protection. Please subscribe for more.